Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and I have here 0.1 gram of Razzle Dazzle Fiber Reactive Dye from Dharma just dissolved into some water. And I've got this beautiful alpaca uh, bulke, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, yarn. You can see it's got these beautiful loops all the way through it. Now this is 88% Al super fine alpaca, 10% polyamid. So I'm going to dye this in, in here. Just adding a teaspoon of vinegar. Now I'm just going to let this sit. See, hopefully the yarn will absorb all the dye. Now this is a fibre reactive dye, so I'm not sure if it will absorb everything or not. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, this is that's lovely. Now this yarn has been soaking, pre-soaking in some water just for a while. This while I've been setting everything up, um, uh, yeah. And all these, all this equipment is dedicated for dyeing. It's never used for food. So I'm going to leave this for about ten minutes. I'll come back and see. What it's like then i've completely lost track of how long this has been in here uh at least half an hour uh the dye is almost all absorbed into this it's gorgeous there's a hint of color left in here but i'm going to call it for today mainly because i need to now clean the kitchen and get the kids dinner ready so i'm turn the heat off and just let it cool down completely and it'll probably be tomorrow morning uh, I, when I will wash this out and hang it out to dry. Okay, I've transferred uh, this yarn into the jar just to try and get the last bit of uh, dye into it because I needed to use the saucepan for some other dyeing. And you can see most of the, the dye is in the yarn. There's a tiniest bit in there. So now I'm just going to rinse this through very, very carefully. I don't want to risk felting this um, or get it too tangled. It's so soft. That's a gorgeous colour. A tiny bit of washing up liquid just to get out any excess dye. It doesn't look like there is any which is brilliant. So I'm just going to rinse this through a few, a couple of times and then hang it out to dry. Here is our finished Razzle Dazzle dyed loop yarn. Now it's not felted, but it is a little bit sticky. So it's, see, you can, it's easily pulling apart. So it just needs a little bit of extra attention while you wind this uh, up before you use it it's so so soft i i love it it's and it's pretty solid color as well um considering it's hands dyed i haven't noticed any particularly dark patches or light patches in this it's oh it's about as solid as i could probably get to be honest thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please click like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you think of this yarn. Uh, I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday. Uh, I like to experiment with different dyes and fibres and techniques and all sorts. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see me dye next. Thank you so much for watching.